Hey all, hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, we are going to solve a coding problem that is count distinct elements in every window. But before proceeding further in the video, make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed our channel till now. So do subscribe our channel. Definitely, it will motivate me to make more such content for you and be a part of our Telegram channel as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. Just a quick info to share that we know that the Geeks for Geeks is an amazing platform that do share amazing tutorials, uh, courses as well for learning purposes, right? So if you are looking to purchase any of the courses of Geeks for Geeks, you can get this course in 10% discount with a discount of 10% by using our coupon code that is study with Soumya, where every character should be in capital and even the coupon code is provided in the description itself. So do check the coupon code, apply it, get 10% off and start learning. Well, so how the flow is going to be? So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement will be understanding the logic as well and then we'll move into the coding part right so here the question says that given an array of integers and a number k find the count of distinct element in every window of size k in the array so this is the example given to you now you can see we are having n equal to 7 which is basically showing the size of our array and k is showing the window size so a window is given to you right uh, uh, like an array is given to you and a window size is given to you. So in that array, in a particular window, you have to determine the count of distinct element in every window of size. So that is what the question is. For example, here you can see this is our array and what is the window size in that case? That is four. So this will be our first window consisting of four elements. So how many distinct elements we do have in this particular window? That is window one. You can see we are having what? One, two, and three. So these are the three distinct elements. And hence you can see Associated with that, we are getting count as 3. Next window will be what? 2, 1, 3, 4. So in that particular window, we can see 2, 1, 3, 4. They all are distinct and hence the count will be what? 4. Next window is going to be 1, 3, 4, 2. And you can see how many distinct elements we do have in this window. 4 elements, that is 1, 3, 4, 2. They all are distinct. And hence we are getting the count as 4. Next window is going to be 3, 4, 2, 3. And for this, you can see 3, 4, and 2 are the distinct elements in that particular window. And so for this, we are getting the count as 3. Right. So I hope that you have understood what actually the problem want to say. Um, let's take one more example for more understanding. So n equal to 3 and k equal to 2 is given to you. Now, for this first window consisting of two elements, there are two distinct elements that is 4 and 1 itself. So we are getting out to this 2. And for this will be our next window. So for this, you can see only one distinct element is here. That is 1 itself. So we are getting 1. Right. So I hope the question is pretty much clear to you now. Well, the brute force approach that will come to your mind is that first, like individually consider each window one by one. And in that window, you can simply uh, put the loops to check whether a particular element is like how many elements are distinct. And accordingly, you can take a count variable, you can update the value, you can increment the value of count variable. And this is like you must be coming up with for the brute force logic, right? But here you can see they have provided something that is expected time complexity is big of it. If you are following that brute force approach, then obviously the time complexity is not going to be big of it. So they want us with a single traversal, so with a single loop itself, we can uh, come up with any such logic that we can implement the given problem, right? And auxiliary space, they have allowed us to take up to big of it. So what we can do is, well, in this question, what we actually want, we want the frequency of the elements, right? For example, that is one, two, one, three, if we have, so what is the frequency of one here? That is two, frequency of two, that is one, and frequency of three, that is one. So how many distinct elements are here? One, two, three itself. Right, one, two, three itself are the distinct elements. So, can you think about any data structure that can help us in that part? I guess you have made the right logic that is hash map. So, what we are going to use here is we'll be using hash map. So, let me uh, give you a kind of uh, idea about the logic that we'll be using and then we'll be jumping to the coding part. So, let's understand. So, let's suppose this is the array given to us, right? Now, what we'll be doing is what is what is the important thing that we are coming across, like we are encountering here, is the occurrence of a particular element, right? So first window that we are going to consider is 1, 2, 1, 3. So for 
this window what is the count of 1 that is 2 count of 2 that is 1 count of 3 that is 1 so this is how we are going to maintain the key value pairs in the hash map now you can see what will be the size of our hash map obviously your number of keys that it do have so how many keys it do have 1 2 3 that is 3 only so 3 is the count of distinct element that we do have in our first window now we have to consider this window so in this window these should be the element now for this what we can do is see you have two things i want to remove the value that was contributed by this particular element because now this is this particular element is no longer part of my window so if the value associated with this particular element is just one i can simply discard that particular key from my hash map otherwise if it is not one so obviously how much value this element is going to contribute one only right so i'll be updating the value of the key of this key one i'll be updating the value of this key one as value minus one so what is the value associated with that key one that is two so it will be updated as two minus one that is one as well now you can see two one three we already have now we have this four we have encountered this four so what is the value associated with it that will be one itself because we have seen it just now so what is the count you can see how many keys do we have one two three four so four four distinct element we have to have in a next window then we'll be considering a third window now again here also what we have to do is we have to remove the count of this two so for two what you can see is uh, it is having just one value associated with it right you can see it's just one so we'll be simply discarding that particular key from our hash map so right and you can see again here we have in this particular window itself that is window three itself we have encountered a two so for this what will be the value one itself because we have seen it just now this value has already been deleted this this the key this key has already been removed from our, from our hash map now um i want to consider this hash this particular key now that is three four two three right so obviously this one we have to remove so you can see what is the value associated with this one with this key one that is one itself so i'll be starting that key. so now we have two one two one three one right and as if now we are considering which window this one three four two three we are considering so you can see three four two is already here and we have come across another three so as if this three is already present or uh, we are going to update the value as if we have seen this now so we are going to implement the value associated with that particular key so that will be nothing but two so what is the amount of resting element in this last window that is that is nothing but Three itself so three four four three this is what we're getting so now you must have understood the approach the logic that we are implementing um for getting the expected output so i hope the logic is pretty much clear to you now we'll be moving to the coding part now code part is also almost same the same logic that we discussed just right now we are going to write the same thing in terms of just code only so let's see Okay, so as you can see, what we have to do here is, and we have to simply return an array list that will be consisting of the count of our k continuous windows, right? So for this, we have taken this array list, res, and as we need a hash map here, as discussed in the logic itself. Now, so now for this particular loop, what we are doing is for first k element, that is one two one three. Let's suppose for one two one three, what we are doing is we are taking a for loop and see as if you have just come, come across this one so what will be the value associated with it that will be one then we'll be come across in this two for the first time so the value associated with this is going to be one then we'll be come across in this one another time because one we have already seen and this already present as a key in our hash map so we'll be updating the value of let me write here one as two and two is already present so the value associated with this is going to be one itself then we'll be come across in this three so three also we have seen first time so with this three the value will be what one so what is the size of our hash map that is three itself so uh, we are simply coming out of this for loop and we are adding this three to our array list so array list will be what array list will be consisting of three as of now now we are taking another for loop we'll be starting it from i equal to k k value is nothing but four it means zero one two three four so i is pointing to that particular element that is four as of now it is pointing to four as of now and what we are checking as if i already discussed in the logic part that if 
the value associated and now so you can see i am going to consider that window that is 2134 i want to remove the value that has been contributed by this element 1 so i am simply checking that if map dot get k of a minus k is going to give you what i value is what 4 and k value is also what 4 4 minus 4 is going to give you a of like 0 so a of 0 is nothing but 1 so if the value associated with that key 1 is what 1 itself so what we are going to do we can simply discard that key otherwise if that is not the case so we are going to update the value with this particular key so what is the key that we are considering as of now 1 so we are going to update the value associated with that particular key 1 as reduce the reduce the value contributed by it so obviously you know that it has contributed how much value one itself so we are reducing one from its value so now updated value of one is going to what two minus one that is one itself that is what we are doing and as you can see uh, then we are doing a of i is what a of i is four as of now so um, we are adding this to our dictionary so this will be four one and you can see here we are adding the size of map as well so what is the size of map now it is consisting of four keys so size of map is nothing but four now i will be pointing to what this two and again i want to remove this this two now right because this is no longer this one this two now so what i am doing is a of i minus i is what now five five minus four that is a of one a of one is nothing but two itself so a of two is equal equal to one yes it is so Just simply discard that particular key from our map. So we are simply discarding that particular key from our map, right? And so this else part won't be executed. And now e of i is from here itself. If you will see that is e of five. That is also what two. So two as if uh, this we have just come across. So the value associated with this is going to be one. Then i value will be what? I value will be what six. So now I want to remove what? I want to remove this. Part contributed by this one, this one, right? This one. So what I'll be checking is six minus four. That is a of two. So a of two is what zero one two. A of two is what one. A of two is equal equal one. Yes, it is. We discard that particular key from our hash map. So we are discarding that particular key from our hash map. Now, um, again. E of i is what now? That is three itself. You can see that is what three. So three is already present our Hash map. So update its value, incrementing by one. So this will be two. What is the size of our hash map? That is three itself. So three will be added to our hash map. Right? So three, four, four, three. That is what we are going to. I hope uh, I haven't missed any value. Uh, like basically what I want to tell you is that this the logic that we just discussed. We have just stated the same thing in our code part. So hope that is clear for you. If it is so, then make sure to hit the like button, do subscribe to this channel, and if you find this the code for the same is present in the description cell. So if you want to check the code, you can check it from there as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Keep learning, keep preparing. Bye bye.